Are you going to do the opening without Jason? Or? Sure. Sure. Are we live now? We are live. We are live. Hey, thanks That's for right. tuning back into the Exponential Files. We're a weekly real estate show about all things important in real estate. Our guest today is not with us yet. He's the CEO of EXP File, Jason Guessing. He's an amazing guy. He built this, uh, the EXP uh, as a business guy. Uh, I think it was something like 3,000% growth under his, uh, under his thing. He uh, was the one who originally came up with the idea of giving the agents so much money. Um, have you had a chance to, uh, to talk to Jason? I think you have, haven't you, Jim? Jim Lowenstern is, is the co-host as I am. I'm Larry Laufer. Hi, hi, Larry. Uh, so we're also, uh, just so our viewers know, not only without Jason, but we're without power. Um, Larry is in the field today. This is our first field correspondent exponential files. He's in some, I don't know, what would you say, a cornfield in Maine or something? Well, what's going on behind you? I'm, I'm in beautiful uh, Portland, Maine, okay. and, and right on the Maine Square. It's beautiful here today. Yeah, and, and when, when his battery goes dead, that's when our show officially ends. Just for this week, not forever. Um, so uh, yes, uh, before I actually joined EXP, I made it a point to uh, speak to Jason. Um, I was a part of a uh, very large franchise many years ago, and uh, I was their council president, and I published their magazine, and uh, I did a lot of things for them. And I had a lot of great ideas, at least in my own mind. And I asked to speak to the president, the owner, the founder of that company. And there was a collective um, hysterical uh, laughter. Um, ba basically, the answer was, are you kidding me, Jim? Uh, so I thought it was amazing that a company with uh, now, as of this week, 83,000 agents, uh, the president would get on the phone with uh, me even before I joined. Yeah, I thought that was I, would, I thought that was pretty cool. So um, I can ask, uh, you, you know, you can you can be Jason and I can ask you questions, Larry, uh, and you can answer them as you would uh, expect Jason to answer. It. So. Uh, Jason, how many years have you been in your current position and what are your biggest successes at EXP in your opinion? Well, I would say uh, I am not Jason, uh, firstly, but I would say uh, it's absolutely unbelievable how he and uh, Glenn Sanford have revolutionized real estate in the way that they have. They ha have really sunk deep into the realization that real estate agents are the ones that change, uh, that create the, the cash and change the business. It's not franchise owners, it's not um, franchisees, um, it's the agents. And EXP has, from the beginning, focused on getting more money back into the agent's pocket. The other, the, the other thing I think that is a huge success um, at EXP is how much diversity is really important. The LGBTQ plus community has been fully embraced with EXP because it doesn't matter. And, and Jason in particular has been a huge proponent of, of that, uh, that group. So um, I'm being told right now, my Mac will sleep soon. <laughs> oh, great. So this, this, 30 minute to 60 minute show with uh, the president of the company is going to be a three minute show with a hard out and uh, no president of the company. Well, so let me ask you the next question, Jason. So EXP is the number one brokerage and transactions at present. Uh, number one of all real estate brokerages that are included on Glassdoor's top 100 companies. Number one broker and agent count worldwide. What do you as president of the company do to top all that? And what is your next goal that you have for EXP? Wow, what a, what a great question, Jim. And I wish I was half as smart as Jason so I could answer that for you. But that is an excellent- What rabbit, 
Uh, what rabbit are you, are you going to pull out of your hat, uh, Larry Jason? Um, zoo Casa, do you think it's zoo or zoo or zo? zo? I mean, yeah, it has I, a little, I, little mark between the O's. Yeah. They just bought them this week. Okay. And that's, that's for, um, I guess, some technology for uh, lead, um, leads on the internet, maybe. Um, I don't know. Well, they have, uh, 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 under Jason's uh, direction with Glenn, they have gone out and made sure that everything that a real estate agent needs, he's going to get, and EXP is going to own it. So more mortgage, a lot of people. He, he or she or they. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the company is going to own it. So they they deliver leads. They they have Sky Slope, which is a, a elect and a electronic signatures, a DigiSign. KV Core. KV Core. They have a relationship with a top real estate firm, a top real estate website development firm. Well, before uh, your battery goes dead, I'm going to center around what what castles uh, is doing and sure the Newton, sure uh, office is doing i uh, i think we broke through 50 agents on our roster we only started really doing a recruitment program about two weeks ago and uh, i have new agents joining next week uh, from what i hear and uh today we went past uh, 250 agents on our castles luxury group on workplace so any EXP agents out there that want to be looped in on really like the better listings and the top producers within um, the EXP family. That's the place to be to um, to be a part of all that. So uh, that's kind of exciting also. It's, How much it's battery really, do you have now? Um, uh, very little. We're just going to disappear at some point. Um, I wanted to say the, the reason why I joined is because I got tired of being in the loop of uh, uh, sell a house, buy a house, make a commission, start over again. EXP offers a multitude of ways where you are making income. Um, so uh, that's, that's really a, uh, why don't you talk about that for a moment? Well, I'm just going to talk about I was on a nice call with a, a past colleague when I was with a particular uh, to be unnamed franchise because they told me I can never say that I was with them as long as I live. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, she's with the XP and actually has been with the company for about four years. She had multiple offices and uh, now she just does really what what her focus should have been all along, which is building her business and, and, and making money as opposed to uh, being all things for all people and not getting uh, paid for it, or for that matter, dare I say, appreciated for it. So EXP is changing the way that I would say rank and file realtors do business, but also the business owners that are up against big franchises um, and are, are looking at not just their retirement, but their legacy in the business. Right. And, and they don't know where to turn. EXP has sort of given them uh, not just refuge, but tools and a way to uh, manage the business better leverage their assets, and I'm not talking financial assets, but their personal abilities to uh, sell uh, property and to uh, basically handle their clients' needs better than they could in any other scenario, including the big franchises. Uh, she was actually uh, a Coldwell Banker franchisee years ago before real G came in and, um, and changed everything with Caldwell Banker. So she'd had quite a legacy. And um, she was saying, this has changed my life for the better. I've got more time for family. I've got more time for the business. I love the business. I'm not just putting out fires for the agents and doing basically all their work 
and not being appreciated for it. So um, I think that's part of the message that yeah. EXP, whoever you are in the business, it works for you. Right. right. I know for me, I, I, I have my retirement plan all set. I just need to um, use the tools that are being given to me and uh, be successful with it on a daily basis. And uh, I will be in places like this beautiful Portland, <laughs> uh, Maine. Yeah, Port, Port, actually Maine is number two. I saw a list of the best uh, states to live in. Vermont was one, Maine was two. Um, New, Eng New England. Massachusetts wasn't on the list, but as we no. all know, it, it should have been. Um, so um, I was speaking to one owner uh, this week. He has over 100 agents and uh, he's looking at the future and saying, OK, um, what is the end game? You know, um, he's spoiling his agents so much that he doesn't think there's really a buyer out there for his company. It's just, uh, you know, what do we do? And um, it, it's, it, it's, a, it's a big leap of faith for people like me who had, you know, lots of, lots of agents and offices and to change everything so drastically. It's a, it's a bold move and it's a, it's a scary one. But uh, now that there's probably more and more people like me involved, it gets a little bit easier because people like that will have, um, I don't know, mentors, but coaches and um, confidants who can right. guide them. You know, this is what's going to happen. Don't be shocked. I mean, you know, one guy had 900 agents and lost 600 of them. And now he's got 6,000 agents and he's international. Right. right. Um, it's an adjustment. I mean, for him, you know, if you told him you have 900 agents now in three years, you're going to have over 6,000, but you're going to be able to close your laptop any time of the day and not do any more work. That, that's, that's an amazing message right there. So for me, I used to be compliance, check writing, you know, answering calls. I, I mean, I, I still answer calls of course, and I still write checks and I'm still involved a little bit in, uh, 